The following clip describes how you can make a sample for a tape that has a width of more than one inch. Place a sheet of silicone release paper. Apply pieces of adhesive tape to hold the paper in place. Discard the top three to six layers of the tape. Use a stainless steel ruler, and special, 1 inch, double blade cutter, to cut the tape, as shown in the video. Clean the test panel thoroughly with suitable solvent and let it dry completely. Stick the sample to the test panel as shown in the video, use a 4.5 pounds rubber roller to roll it 2 times forward and 2 times backward. Note, use the handle only to guide the roller. Do not apply any additional pressure with your hand. If you have a sample that has a width of less than 1 inch, you may use it directly, that is, without cutting. Remove the first 3 to 6 layers of tape. Stick the sample to the test panel as shown in the video, use a 4.5 pounds rubber roller to roll it 2 times forward and 2 times backward. Note, use the handle only to guide the roller. Do not apply any additional pressure with your hand. Mount the 180 ptm lower fixture on the machine. Fix the tensile grip on the machine. Lock the check nut. Switch the controller on, using the red switch, present at the back side, of the controller. Mm -hmm. 
Fix the test panel, along with the test sample, into the lower adapter. Ensure that the top adapter is 15 to 20 millimeters above the top end of the test panel. Extend the sample such that it can now reach the top grip. Fix the tape into the top grip. If the sample is tilted then you can tilt the panel, in the opposite direction, to correct the tilt of the sample, such that the sample is straight during testing. Start the software, and click on Adhesive Peel Test. Fill up the information as shown above. Select test name as 180 degree peel test. The sample test length, should be a little less, than the real length, available on the panel. Minimum 75 mm. Press done, and select continue. With the sample slightly loose, press zero button, then press start. The top grip will start moving upwards, and pull the sample. You will soon see a graph on the monitor. After the test is complete, the machine will stop, and the software will show, a test completed sign. Select OK. You will see a slider under the graph. Try to select a flat portion, from the middle of the graph, neglect the starting of the graph, and a little bit from the end as well. Your statistical calculations, will be made from this portion, of the graph. Put remarks, if any. Now press save. Then press OK. A PDF report is generated, and shown on your screen.